So what's low in fat and high in nutrients? It's said to improve your brain power and your sex life. And apparently, Liz Early can't get enough of it. Forget the so-called superfoods and your expensive and exotic berries and get your hands on some of this stuff. It's watercress. More iron than spinach, more vitamin C than oranges, and it could even help the fight against cancer. And today, in the Georgian town of Altsford in Hampshire, we're celebrating its anniversary. So what's this festival all about? Well, it's celebrating 200 years since the first commercial production of watercress in the UK. And it's the festival of, of Altsford's involvement, really, is the world centre of watercress. Although watercress had been picked wild from rivers and streams for centuries, in the 1800s the industry really took off, helped by the introduction of the steam train. This beautifully restored track was actually known as the watercress line. Being a perishable crop in the days before refrigeration, mm. speed was the essence, so right. that railway service was critical. This area is ideal for growing watercress because it's a semi-aquatic plant and loves the chalky springs Hampshire is known for. The best thing about the chalk streams around here is obviously the purity of the water. Right. And coming up out of the ground from a borehole that is 200 metres down in the ground, it sits at the same temperature throughout the year, sort of 51 degrees, and it's the freshest water you can have you always got to keep the water nice, a nice flow, not too fast, but just a right. nice flow through it. Give them a, a bit of life, keeps them fresher, you know, makes them grow. Yeah. For hundreds of years, watercress was hand cut with a knife. It's still done today to get perfect bunches. But with machine cutting, a bed like this can produce three tons an hour. We start cutting a bed sort of five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. That will be packed exactly the same day, and that could be in your shop tomorrow morning, so you yes. could be buying the freshest crests possible. So just 24 hours from picking to chomping? Yeah, definitely, 24 hours. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, children. Wait. Recently, watercress has had quite an upmarket reputation, but it used to be a staple part of the working-class diet. It was normally eaten in sandwiches, but if the family was too poor to afford bread, they'd eat it in bunches just like this. Three, two, one, go! That's it, but kids. perhaps not the like trick. this. <laughs> this is the so World Watercress Eating Contest. How much can you consume in two minutes? I can tell you, it really gets quite peppery after a bit. That's a true lady. And the winner is management Never consultant Andy boring. Hemsley. So, Andy, how much did you manage to eat? Uh, six bags, Christine. Six, six bags. Six bags? Yeah. And how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling all right, actually. Towards the end, when I was just stuffing it in my mouth, I was feeling a little bit gaggy. Uh, and do you normally eat watercress? Uh, I'll put it a few times, yeah. I'll put it a few times, but not quite that much. I hope Andy feels the benefits. Watercress is supposed to be an aphrodisiac, a good hangover cure and makes you smarter. But old wives' tales aside, experts believe it can actually help the fight against cancer. Watercress has all the health benefits of, of a food that's full of vitamins and minerals, but the key one is its anti-cancer property. It's, it's been proven in medical studies that it sort of encourages our cell defence systems to be more resilient to, to free radicals and actually aggressively attacks cancer cells. As a man with a PhD in watercress, Dr Steve Rothwell practices what he preaches. I eat it every day. I come to work, work with a Marmite sandwich. Lunchtime, I open it up, put a whole pack of watercress between the slices, cram it shut and eat it. Yeah, tasty, crunchy, does you good. So think about making watercress one of your five a day. Although I'm not really sure this counts. <laughs> watercress chocolate, anyone? Mm. See, we're all sampling them now. They're mm. quite nice, aren't they? No, they're quite limey. 
-hmm. With that undercurrent of watercress. <laughs> I can't taste the watercress at all. I'm being honest. I don't really know what it tastes like, to be honest. See, I'm confused oh, with come the on, oh, oh, Have a chop. Good have, a chop. <laughs> have a chop. Have a chop. <laughs> have a chop. <laughs> have a chop. <laughs> well, Christine, though, I'm a bit confused with watercress because I always thought watercress was what you see there in, in egg and onion sandwiches. And you know, in school, yeah. in primary school, you got a little egg shell and you yeah. grew it. I thought that's what that was. No. I'm absolutely confused. Two totally different plans. One's a nasturtium and one's a, a different thing. They're both brassicas, but they're both related. But one grows in water, watercress, mm -hmm. and that would drown. And that's the basic difference. They're rich in lots of goodies, as are everyday but vegetables. This is what I don't get. You see, that first of all, I don't think those taste amazing, do they, Jenny? Oh, but they second, do. Oh, oh, come on, I'm sick and tired of being told about oh, wonder God. foods or superfoods. Mm. What, what, is, is it better than just eating an apple a day? I mean, tell me, give me the answer. Right. A I superfood. It's a taste of anything. It's absolutely it's delicious. It's yeah. uh, But literally, <laughs> a superfood is anything that's very rich in antioxidants, free flavins, and various other chemicals that absorb all the nasties inside you. So, in fact, though we've got things like pomegranates, say, that it's a superfood. Do you know there's more vitamin C in that than there is in that pomegranate? Oh. But the marketing men think that that can be marketed. Yeah. If you eat five vegetables and five bits of fruit every day, your levels go whoa. And it's not rocket science. We've been told for years to eat more fruit and veg. Strawberries packed with goodies. It's so delicious. Well, All absolutely. of it. Absolutely. You know, blackcurrant, strawberries. Kind of food, you know, and this doesn't have to cost oh. a lot of money. Gorgy berries, you pay a million quid it's for. Yeah. Jenny, it's down, crazy. Down the West Country, do you grow your own fruit and veg? We yeah. do. We do, yeah. Now, go to the Pick Your Own to get... Um, the uh, Pick strawberries. Your own. You should be growing. Oh, but I know. But that's for some of them. No, I do grow loads of it. Well, thank you very you much, more. ladies. I'm in trouble now. I do. I do. <laughs> that is a buy this. Join us tomorrow. Adrian's back tomorrow, actually, and Willie Carson will be here as well. And Lucy Siegel. See you later. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>